The State Department announced today that it has authorized sanctions against 33 Russian individuals and entities connected to defense and intelligence structures. RT's Rachel Blevins joins us now. Rachel, what can you tell us about the latest round of sanctions? Right, Scotty. Well, the announcement came from the State Department today that 33 Russian officials and entities have been added to the United States sanctions list. The State Department used Section 231 of the Countering Americans Adversaries Through Sanctions Act of 2017 to justify the sanctions. And they claim that the purpose is to, quote, further impose cost on the Russian government for its malign activities. Now, the timing of these sanctions is notable because just last month, the U.S. announced new sanctions against Russia as blame for the poisoning of former Russian spy Sergei Skripal. Russia has repeatedly denied involvement in this case and has accused London of failing to provide evidence or to cooperate in an investigation. The State Department claimed that the latest sanctions against these Russian intelligence officials were because they were accused of, quote, operating for or on behalf of the defense of intelligence sectors of the the Russian government. The U.S. also announced sanctions against a Chinese military organization because it purchased military equipment from Russia. Now, this round of sanctions increases the State Department's list of specified persons to 72. And the statement noted that not only are the officials and entities sanctioned, but anyone who does business with them will face mandatory U.S. sanctions as well. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.